Awards and Mr. Pucci. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I feel like I see these beautiful women's gowns and I hear Pucci. I wear those on the weekend. Are you <laughs> but even better than that, we have technology. Yeah, so um, actually To Exist is a lifestyle brand. It's we're a company we've been evolving since 1996. Uh, just in November, we launched our first watch line. This is uh, version one, and it's called the NYC. So Why do you call it the NYC? The company's based in New York. The watch designer is a New Yorker, and he always wanted to design a watch that kind of embraced what the city was all about. Oh. So if you look at the watch, first of all, it's, it's a see-through watch. That is cool. So it kind of represents the depth of you know looking at the New York skyline from afar. Oh. So that's why you see there's a lot of different dimensions when you look through it on the front as well as on the back. That's really cool. The other cool thing about the watch is that since New York City is such a cultural city and so diverse and it's multi-levels and it's multifaceted, he made the dial a multi-level dial. What that means is if you look here, the hour hand sweeps underneath the markers while the minute hand sweeps ah. above and the second hand sweeps above all of them. And it's a really oh, difficult cool. thing that's to do in a watch. Do. Very difficult. Yeah. The other cool thing is since it's like a New York industrial city, skyscrapers are built right. with ironworks. The cases were all kind of cut out to represent all the... Like the stanchions. Exactly. So all throughout the watch. So there's a lot of industrial elements to it. I mean, and then to exist, it's all about design, the element, and comfort. And so the, it, the designer, I presume, is an industrial designer? Yeah, his name, his name is Jason Wilbur. He's really well known in the watch industry for designing the Devon Tread One watch, which is a full belt-driven watch that retails anywhere from 15 to 50000 Wow. So this is the first time he designed a watch in this price point of 495 and he was really excited to do it because he wanted to take what he learned in the high-end watches yeah. and bring it into a fashion watch where everybody That's gets to experience really cool. that design element as well. That's really kind of cool. But what made you guys to um, decide to expand into this? Because we, we know you guys because of underwear. Right. It's, well, it's, the company's always evolving into a lifestyle brand. And one of the biggest things, especially it's a men's lifestyle brand, is one of the biggest things that they accessorize with our watches. You know, watches and jewelry. We couldn't, we're not ready yet to go into the jewelry side, but watches was the next natural progression for us to hit the accessory market. Well, because they are a fashion item. Exactly. <laughs> and you can always change, you know, it's always changing, and watches are always changing now, so it just kind of still embraces the company's DNA. Now, I'm curious how many different styles you have, because I noticed some of the, the numbers are different colors. Right, so we have 12 different styles, same case, so there'll be 12 different color combinations between the out, outer elements, which are the bezel, the lugs, and then also the dial, the dial colors. Mm -hmm. Always the same case size. And Always then straps, the yeah, we'll have straps for white bands, we'll have a black, and then we'll have gray. How many different colors does it come in for the dials? For the dials, 12. For your many moods. Now, right. can you change those? Or awards and Mr. Pucci. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I feel like I see these beautiful women's gowns, and I hear Pucci. I wear those on the weekend. Are you? <laughs> but even better than that, we have technology. Yeah. So, um, actually, To Exist is a lifestyle brand. It's we're a company we've been evolving since 1996. Uh, just in November, we launched our first watch line. This is uh, version one, and it's called the NYC. So Why do you call it the NYC? The company's based in New York. The watch designer is a New Yorker, and he always wanted to design a watch that kind of embraced what the city was all about. Oh. So if you look at the watch, first of all, it's, it's a see-through watch. That is cool. So it kind of represents the depth of you know looking at the New York skyline from afar. Oh. So that's why you see there's a lot of different dimensions when you look through it on the front as well as on the back. That's really cool.